the lights you see shining up through this hole right here is from the number one cam bearing but the bearings not there we took it out so we could check the uh, pipe tap you know the pipe plug to make sure that it it wasn't interfering and that light is shining up through that hole and it's just to give you a reference of the size of hole of the of the feed I've laid a cam bearing in the number one saddle for the crank to give you an idea of the size of the hole it's in the cam bearing so the, the you know the oil feed hole is quite larger this is the number two saddle in for the crank looking down this hole at where the cam bearing and the number two cam bearing is in this block still and that's the alignment that the machine shop made because they installed the uh, cam bearings in this motor in this block and that's the alignment for the number two and you can see it right there that's the alignment this is number three looking down from the number three crank saddle down into the hole where the cam bearing is and that alignment is not bad I mean at least all of the hole in the cam bearing is in all of the hole for the oil feed it's just slightly off but pretty good it's the best one so far okay here's number four right down that hole there and you can see there's some blockage but what would you call that 50 50 you know uh, it's not exactly right on but it's not starving of oil either so in each case um, I looked at this the bit you know how the cam bearing was in the hole and in each case you were either going to settle for what you saw or you were going to be totally misaligned I mean some looked like you could move it in a little bit closer but that would make the alignment worse so you know uh, that's from a machine shop you know I paid paid them to do this I had no idea this was like this until I started taking a really closer look and uh, I wish I had have looked on the target test motor to see because that was a fact that was no wait a minute was that factory no it seems to me that when we got the freeze plugs in we, I put cam bearings in it too because remember we were just going to build it like it was and I was going to use all the same parts over again only had 50,000 miles on it and then we found that and oh uh, you know blah 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 one thing leads to another and but anyway so that's the story on that okay here is two front notice the edge of the bearing in relationship to the edge of the room there for the bearing you know it's right it's right there okay this is rear of number two the rear shot you see the amount of material right there that's left that's room that's what he uh, now that, when you look at that you say oh well he could have he could have come in more but then you have to look at the alignment that he already got the alignment shot on two this is three front again right on the edge and this is the back of number three got some room there but then again you're you're dealing with the alignment 
what are you going to sacrifice? The alignment shot on three. And this is for the front of number four. Some material there. There's some room there. And the back of four, it's right, right flush. It's right to the edge. The alignment shot on number four. Okay, this is number five. And two things to note here that oh, with the engine upside down um, and you envision a clock the crankshaft saddles are 12 o'clock and the camshaft journals are 6 o'clock now with the exception of number 1 now 2, 3, and 4 are at 12 o'clock the hole in the bearing is meeting the oil feed hole at 12 o'clock and seeing how this number five bearing is down at six o'clock that's the first thing second thing is this is just part of the block right here this isn't actually the the uh, machined area where the bearing sits so it's flush right with its area and back in here the cap is still in this block the uh, you know plug at the back of the cam tunnel it's still in the block and you can see it here and there's about well, I don't know it's it's more than a 64th um, you know it, there's some room there so you can't get it any closer than that there's got to be room there so that's what we're dealing with there is at least a, a quarter inch hole that feeds the journal and a 312 thou trough there at, at least. And it's, you know, 125 thou deep. You know, at 45 to 65 pounds of oil pressure, there's no way it's not getting plenty of oil. Strive to get a better clocking, sure. But if you don't, it will still work. Is it cause for alarm that they're misaligned, the cam bearings? I really don't think so. It's not an alignment hole as much as it is a clocking issue. Not to mention the millions spent on research and development on this oil system from GM. Not to mention from 1955 to about 1997, the Gen 1 powered the United States of America around the world for billions of miles. But how many of those engines had misaligned cam bearings? Probably most of them. Some of you may say, uh, well, the bearing could have turned a little bit. And to that I'd have to say, if that was the case, the hole would be on the high side of the oil feed. And these are all on the low side of the oil feed. And the cam is turning clockwise. And the, hole, the holes are still low. So suffice to say, don't lose, don't lose sleep over it. It's probably fine.